The floating farms have become as ubiquitous at the UNESCO recognized reserve as its famed houses on stilts and leg rowing fishermen, but locals warn that the plantations are slowly choking the lake. The ever expanding farms are eating up surface area, sending chemical runoff into the waters and clogging the picturesque site with discarded plant matter, opponents say. But aquaculture comes at a cost to the lake. The farms must be anchored in place and the produce shielded from the sun, mainly by invasive water hyacinths. The weed grows rampantly on the surface of inlay, depleting oxygen levels by blotting out light for other plants, so it makes for a free and abundant building block for plantations. Between 1992 and 2009, the portion of inlay covered by floating farms increased by 500%, according to a report from Myanmar's government. And the area under cultivation has only expanded since then, residents say. The farms do not last forever and when they begin to rot, farmers cut them loose and build new ones, leaving rotting mounds of foliage to clog up the lakeshore. Floating farms are ruining the lake, an official from the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Irrigation said, requesting anonymity. Farmers say the bigger problem is that decades of slash and burn agriculture on the surrounding hillsides have caused soil to wash into the streams that feed inlay, slowly filling it in. Businesses around the lake also worry that its shrinking surface and environmental degradation will drive tourists away.